Hello guys. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on times as many in multiplication. Who has more and how can you figure it out the easiest way? So in this one, it says that Margie sold 32 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. It says that Lisa sold three times as many as Margie. What is the total number of boxes of cookies the two girls sold? So there's, there are two steps to this problem. First, we need to figure out how many did Lisa sell? If we can figure out how many Lisa sold, then we can figure out what's the total number between both girls. So let's start from there. We're going to use M to represent Margie and L to represent Lisa. So we know that Margie sold 32 boxes. We also know that Lisa sold three times as many. So three boxes, three times as many. So wherever you see a box, we're going to go ahead and represent it with 32. Why? Because if Margie sold 32 boxes and Lisa sold three times as many, that means Lisa sold three sets of 32. Now that we know how much Lisa sold, we can go ahead and find the total. So this brings us into step two of our problem. What is the total number of boxes of cookies that both girls sold? Let's add. So we're going to say 32. This is for Margie. And then this represents Lisa down here. Plus 32 three times. Because she did sell three times as much. Once we add them together, I'm going to skip count because it goes by real fast. 2, 4, 6, 8. Go ahead. 3, 6, 9, 12. Altogether, both girls sold 128 boxes of cookies. That's what they sold altogether. Are you confused? Do you still need help? Don't worry. We have time. Let's look at this one. So we're going to look at another problem that is a two-step problem and requires us, us to actually think. So this one says that Sean sold 28 jelly beans. So in this problem, they gave us the total number of jelly beans. So this is Sean. And what we know is Sean already sold 28 jelly beans. Okay. Malia, on the other hand, has N number of jelly beans. So whenever I see Malia's name, I know that she sold N. I got to figure out what she sold. So this is what we know. What we know is that Sean actually sold seven times as many jelly beans as Malia. So it gives me an idea. I'm going to have, beside Sean's name, I'm going to use an S to represent Sean today. I'm going to have seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Now, altogether, he sold 28 pieces. That means this is seven times as many. And then this is little old Malia. She only sold N. One. They didn't say three. One. Okay? So I need to figure out what, how can I equally divide 28 into seven boxes? I can use my timetable because it goes by very fast. I can say seven times something. I'm going to call it N. It's going to give me 28 because that N represents how many Malia has. Okay? What do you know about your timetable? You can start by saying, hmm, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, 
Seven times three is what? Three sevens? Twenty-one. Seven times four is twenty-eight. I got my number right here. So N is now four. That means four, 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 four. Four, seven times. So it's going to be four times seven or seven times four. They all amount to be 28. What number presents Malia? Malia's N would be the value of four. She only has one single slot, while he has seven times as much. So how many would be for Malia? Four. So drawing your models, that's an excellent way to remember what you're doing. It makes your life easier, guys. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you for tuning in to Teaching Stellar Learners. Be sure to subscribe and share for more educational videos.